Alrighty, y'all. Strap in for this video. We're looking at an interesting suggestion uh, that was brought to my attention from Lion of Zion 81 in the comments of a previous video. He said, you got to take a look at this. This is a walking excavator. <laughs> walking excavator, what in the hell is that? Is this, like, that doesn't sound real. That sounds crazy, right? Well, we're going to take a look at one. This is the Menzimuk M545 digging out a reservoir in Switzerland on an extremely steep slope. Sounds absolutely crazy. I don't understand. I'm really excited to see this. Let's jump into it. This is from Menzimuk.com, uh, the channel, and of course, they will be linked down below. Make sure to check them out and check out this whole video uninterrupted. Let's jump right in. Oh my God, look at it. The reservoir was completely emptied a day before. A steep, narrow forest path leads to the reservoir. I can't wait to see this. Okay, look at how uh, compact it is here. Taking this trail down to the site. Oh, look at that area. Just gorgeous, yeah? Switzerland is a beautiful place. There is no doubt about that. Okay, so it's on this very narrow uh, area here. Oh, whoa, what the heck? I love the, uh, what was this? Hold on. I love the stuffed animal right there. I can't tell who it is. Maybe it's a character from a show or something. I don't know. This guy has got to be a hell of a pilot of this thing. One of those machines that is insanely impressive. But I feel like the operator is equally as impressive. So he lifted himself above the wall down into the, uh, the slopes here. Oh my God, this is, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Remember, camera always makes everything look smaller. This is a really steep slope, and it's big. This is bigger than it looks on camera. Uh, I can see these legs have already extended out. Remember how narrow it was coming down that road? And it almost has feet. Like, it has these feet, these mechanical, I don't know, like claws or some sort of feet. And then, of course, it has tires as well. How interesting. Oh my God, no pressure. <laughs> right? I'm sure this is not a cheap machine. That is so scary. Do you realize his view is looking straight down? And this is slippery. That looks wet and slippery. Oh my God. This is making me nervous. <laughs> He's using the excavator, the, uh, he's using the bucket and the arm. Oh my God, that thing, okay, that thing is so advanced. It goes out, you see that? It just stretched out. That arm stretches, it rotates, it turns, it, it does everything. He's using that as, as uh, to stabilize the whole machine, right? And then he like kind of does one leg at a time, uh, as he should. He needs to go slow. Because one wrong move and this will all come crashing down. We don't want that. Oh my God, how scary. <laughs> he is way down there, yo. He was winched to the top. That's smart. Okay, I did not know that. That is, that is good. <laughs> but the winch, is, the winch is gone now. So he's down there for real. Oh my God, look at that. How freaky. Look at that, what on earth? I have never seen an excavator like that. The only excavators I've seen, of course, are on fixed uh, tracks, you know, like a tank, right? And uh, they're cool, they're cool machines. Everyone wants an excavator. I would love to have an excavator. Why? I don't know, it'd be fun to have. <laughs> but I've never even seen one like this. This is so cool. God, that thing is gonna do some work down there.
Oh my goodness, this is so wild. Look at it, it, those legs are so spread out, it's like an X now. How does this guy know what he's doing? Obviously, I know experience is everything when it comes to machines like this. Look, at he has four pedals. Whoa, let me get a look at that, guys. Hold up. One, two, three, four. I think he has four pedals. He has two uh, sticks, one on each side. There might be overhead controls. Oh, my God. This is just wild. This is not easy. <laughs> This is one of those videos that you really have to appreciate that this is harder than it looks. Wooden retrieve. Okay, so he's gonna move stuff to the side. It's gonna be retrieved by helicopter later. So he's gonna he's gonna dig this out and free it up a little bit there. That's what's going on. It's really overpacked, backed up. You can see the grates down here. Okay, I see what he's doing. Wow, that is way um, clogged up for sure. God, what a machine. He's there with the door open. He's just he's just going to work, man. This guy's not phased at all. <laughs> what a talented operator, for real. Like I said, this is not as easy as it looks. He's making it look like a routine deal, but it's not. I can't just hop in and go do this. Like, no. <laughs> Jeez. Mud and gravel drain over the grate. That's right. And that's what you want. You want them to drain. You don't want them to get uh, bunched up and stuck here, which is what he's doing. He's cleared it out almost... The whole thing's almost cleared out now. This is like a real life. I feel like I'm like, this is crazy technology. And I'm, I don't know how new this is. I'm imagining this has probably been around for maybe longer than we think. I don't know if this kind of machine is, you know, brand new. Maybe it's 10 years old. Maybe this has been around for 30 years. I don't know, but I haven't seen it. Granted, I'm not a construction expert or anything like that. We could have this in the U.S. Maybe we don't. I, I really couldn't tell you. But I tell you what, this is very impressive. It's almost like, a, what do you call those things? Not like a robot. It's like a, um, almost like a, like a, is it like a mech or a mech suit? Like the guy, it's a, it's a human guy operator, but he's, he's like, he's become one with this machine. He's walking it down this slope. He's clearing this stuff out with a great efficiency. And uh, it's almost like a mech suit. Like the guy is in some, I don't know. I hope you know what I'm saying. It's very cool. I mean, this is very cool. I love your suggestions. You guys always come up with great suggestions. This is proof of that. And he is going to back it out of there using leverage from this, from the uh, the shovel over here. Because there's no way those tires are going to grip up that wet slope by themselves. This is so crazy. Yo, I can't believe it. I, I love stuff like this, man. This is a cool video. <laughs> that thing is, is strong, too. Excavators are so fun, dude. Especially when they're like that. That is super freaking cool. This is from 2019. Okay. Uh, yeah, make sure and check that link in the description. Make you know, Give them a view and uh, check out their channel. I think I will be doing the same. That is really wild thank you so much for that suggestion really really neat uh if you have any experience with one of these maybe you've gotten to see one of these uh you know in action at work maybe you pilot one of these things here hands off to everyone that can uh, be operators on crazy machines like this definitely a perk of the job that looks fun but it also looks extremely nerve-wracking and dangerous too so uh operators that are this skilled you know, it's invaluable. It's really, really cool. And I, I applaud people like that. The only thing like this, which is not even like this at all. Remember, I was a forklift operator for eight years. So I, I know a little bit about, you know, operating machines. Granted, a forklift is uh, barbaric compared to this, you know, pretty, relatively easy. Of course, it has its dangers and stuff. But once you get it, it's very easy. And I, I really enjoyed it. This is another level. 
like I said, very, very fun. Throw a like on there if you enjoyed this. <laughs> Subscribe to be part of this amazing community. Keep your awesome suggestions coming. And uh, I tell you what, my name is Ian. You watch the Night of Rocker. Until next time, y'all, I'll catch you later.